Christine, my new career is very active and outdoors. Yay. I was going to say yay. And so far, I've just been wearing my differentials, though they aren't useful for anything more than a few feet away. I don't wear distance correction since I'm often looking at far away, intermediate, and close up. Obviously, I don't want to wear stronger lenses for the close up, and I can't keep switching out lenses based on what I'm doing since everything is so dynamic. Mmm, arborist trait. Does what I'm doing make the most sense? I'm struggling seeing anything clearly further away, but I don't want to compromise my close-up with stronger correction. That's tricky, right? Like that's, if you've only been wearing differentials and they're not clear for anything more than a few feet away. So what I answered in the last question is you want your distance vision to be clear since you want the default for your brain to be clear vision. You don't want the things that you're looking at that matter to generally be blurry. So I would say you probably want some glasses that maybe are challenging for your distance vision. You'd either get like an intermediate pair of glasses that are a little extra challenging for distance and a little bit too clear for close up and see how that works out. Keep a log, see if your vision improves. It might be a solution for you where you're like, especially if you're outside in natural, good ambient lighting, you need a little bit less than in other situations possibly. So it could be a little more than a differential would be and a little bit less than a normalized and see if that works. The other option is where contact lenses like distance, normalized contact lenses, and then just have reading glasses like plus one diopters dangling, right? Like, I mean, make it a fashion statement and then pop those on when you have to focus at closer ranges for any amount of time, right? Like it's Regardless, it's going to be a compromise that you're going to have to be creative about. The goal being not too much distance blur habituated where you're just doing it all the time. A lot of these things, it's a good idea to follow the, the method as prescribed as closely as possible for a couple of months. So you get a baseline of what thousands and thousands of people over many, many years figured works. So you know what the thing is. Right. And then go, well, this is complicated for me. I don't love this. Let me tweak it. But you're tweaking it based on an understanding of the path that generally works. So, for example, if you did a differential that normalized for a few months, and it's a pain and you don't love it. But at least you're like, OK, close up is clear and distance is clear like this works. And you build habits and you build active focus practice. And now you have this down to where you're like, that is the ideal scenario for improving your eyesight. And then you're like, OK but this is not ideal for my lifestyle, but now I know what is ideal. Now let me tweak it with an understanding of what should work, right? And the way you know tweaking what works is in two to three months, your vision should improve by about a quarter doctor. If it doesn't, then you make another small tweak, not too many at once, right? Just one. Meow, meow, meow.